we would like to present our research work, Effect of Modifying Dopes on the Mechanical Properties of Epoxy Coatings Affected by Thermocycling. Epoxy materials are fairly often used as coatings. It is well known that the properties of coatings, including protective ones, may change under operation conditions. The aim of this work is to study the effect of nanosized oxides, namely titanium dioxide, silicon dioxide, and zinc oxide, used as modifiers of epoxy lacquer based on ED20 epoxy resin on the elastic modulus, microhardness, and creep of the resulting coating after multiple temperature differences. Due to the differences between the linear and thermal expansion coefficient of the substrate, and that of the coating material, the system experiences internal stress fluctuations, and this may eventually change the mechanical properties. In this study, we used ED20 epoxy dion resin, commercial titanium, silicon, and zinc oxides we used as a modifiers. To produce the compositions, we prepared a solution of epoxy resin in tetrahydrofuran and dispersed the oxides there in, with the use of a ball meal with a content of 10 weight percent. Aluminum magnesium alloy plates were used as a coating base. Instrumented indentation was performed with the use of a Fisher scope device. A weakest tetrahedral diamond pyramid was used as an indenter. Platinum's hardness and reduced contact normal elastic modulus were chosen as the characterizing parameters. The relative change of the indentation depth was used as the characteristic of the creep of the coating material at given holding time and value of constant test load. Thermocycling was performed in the special heat chamber. The samples were placed in a drying oven and held at 60 centigrade for one hour. They were then transferred into a cold chamber with a transfer time of at most two minutes and held at minus 40 centigrade for one hour. Thereafter, the samples were taken out of the cold chamber and held at 20 centigrade for 15 minutes. This cycle was repeated five and ten times. Originally, we obtained mechanical characteristics for the coatings in the initial state, not subjected to thermal effects. A load of one newton and a loading time of 40 seconds were selected as the loading parameters. The values of Matten's hardness and the normal elastic modulus for the unmodified lacquer coating amount to 260 newton per square millimeters and 7 and 3 gigapascal respectively. Titanium dioxide has been found to increase Matten's hardness by 5% as compared to that of the unmodified lacquer. In turn, the introduction of zinc oxide and silicon dioxide reduces hardness by 4% and 5.5% respectively. The value of module for the coating modified with titanium dioxide increases by 15% as compared to the pure epoxy lacquer to become 8 and 4 gigapascal. For the coatings filled with zinc oxide, the value of the contact elastic modulus is 7 and 4 gigapascal, thus remaining on the level with the values for the pure epoxy lacquer. In turn, for the coating containing silicon dioxide, the value of the module decreases by 6% to become 6 and 9 gigapascal. Most likely, the obtained results are explained by the influence of the size of the filler particles and agglomerates, namely the smaller the size, the higher the elastic modulus. The values of matting hardness and the normal elastic modulus for the unmodified lacquer coating decrease smoothly with the increasing number of thermocycling cycles. 
Thus, hardness decreases by 10% after 5 cycles and by 14 after 10 cycles from the initial hardness value. In turn, modulus decreases first by 5% and then by 10% from the value of the modulus corresponding to the material not subjected to thermocycling. For the coating modified with zinc oxide, the hardness decreases by 7% within 5 cycles, whereas the hardness remains invariable with the further effect of cycling temperatures. For the lac adopted with zinc oxide, modulus decreases by 5% after 5 cycles and by 15% after 10 cycles, as compared to the modulus value for non thermocycle coating zinc oxide. For the coating doped with silicon dioxide, the values of metal hardness for the initial state and after thermocycle are on the level with those for the zinc, zinc oxide doped lacquer. The elastic modulus value for this dope is initially the lowest. It decreases by 15% after 5 cycles and remains unchanged after 10 cycles. Thermocycling has most noticeable effect on the coating containing titanium dioxide. Initially, this coating is the hardest, with its hardness value falling from 270 N per square millimeter to 220 N per square millimeter, i.e. by 20% after 5 cycles of thermocycling. After 10 cycles, uh, the value of hardness increases to 260 newtons per square millimeter, thus exceeding the hardness values of the other samples, but being lower than the initial hardness value. A similar situation is observed for modulus, i.e. the elastic modulus is initially 8 and 4 gigapascal to become 6 gigapascal after 5 cycles and 7 and 9 gigapascal after 10 cycles. This behavior clearly demonstrates material structuring as a result of after polymerization of the epoxy groups and the orientation of macromolecules in the course of their adsorption desorption on the filler particles during thermocycle. A load of 1 newton, a loading time of 40 seconds, and a holding time under a load of 0, 20, 40, and 60 seconds were selected as loading parameters to study creep. The behavior of creep as dependent on the holding time is qualitatively the same for all the samples tested. For the filled like a samples, the values of creep decrease on the average by 15%. The obtained data testify uh, to the absence of significant effect of modifiers on the viscosity properties of the polymer, obviously due to the lower content of oxides in the coating. The behavior of creep varying with holding time for all the tested samples is qualitatively identical after 5 and 10 cycles, with varying numer numerical values. For the unmodified coating, uh, creep increases on the average by 20% after 5 thermocycling cycles for all the holding times. As the number of cycles increases to 10, the value of creep changes on this slightly. The same behavior is observed for the coatings modified with zinc oxide and silicon dioxide, but creep increases with, within the first five cycles by 26% and 28% respectively. For titanium dioxide, the creep increases on the average by 35% after five thermocycling cycles, however, after 10 cycles, on the contrary, the creep value decreases on the average by 7% as compared to the coating after 5 cycles. For the coatings not subjected to thermocycling,
doping with titanium dioxide increases mutton hardness by 5% as compared to that of the unmodified lacquer, whereas doping with zinc oxide and silicon dioxide reduces mutton hardness by 4 and 5.5% respectively. The normal elastic modulus for the epoxy, epoxy lacquer containing titanium dioxide exceeds that of the unmodified lacquer by 15%. For the coating containing zinc oxide, the modulus values remain even with those of the unmodified lacquer, while they are 6% lower than for the coating with silicon dioxide. On the whole, cyclothermal action smoothly decreases the elastic modulus and hardness of the pure epoxy lacquer and those modified with silicon dioxide and zinc oxide. Thermal action has the greatest effect on the characteristics of the titanium dioxide, doped epoxy lacquer coating, which manifests itself in the discontinuous variation of hardness and modulus. The creep of the loaded coatings is more attributed to the polymer base. The dopes have no significant effect on the time dependence, but they decrease modulus. Thermocycling leaves the behavior of the time dependence unchanged, but it increases the value of creep. Thank you for your attention.